right, everyone, welcome back. Back to trash day, back to trash picking. Let's give this another go. See how the back feels on this one. I'm fully confident I'll be able to get this. We'll give it a little push first. Oh, yeah, this is not that heavy. Might be a little awkward. I'm gonna line up there so it doesn't. Scratch this person's driveway. Winter is not gone away. But welcome back for another day with Taco Stacks. It's making an awesome day and enjoy the wonderful treasure people might have thrown out. Trash picking Taco Stacks, 700 and something episode. Let's make it a good one. This is adorable. I don't know why, but it is free. Look at that. Is that nice? That is so nice. Oh, I had this as a kid. The same exact one. Do you think it has any value? It might. I don't know. That might get a little bit newer. I'm grabbing this more just because I think that one you went, one of these, uh, like, that thing spins. All these little beads in there would, like, pop all around. And then make a very iconic sound. I get it to do it. Ah, oh, it's broken. It doesn't work. That or maybe it's frozen. Oh, maybe I should put this sign so it's a little bit easier. There should probably bend something right there, I would think. It's kind of cool, that little washer dryer thing. I've never seen that. I don't know why. It's just like, it's probably worth some money that I've never seen it. It might be rare. So we are still in the morning. That's kind of what I do. I usually trash pick in the morning, try to get everything in just one or two towns before other scrappers show up and grab a bunch. Um, we're still in the morning. It seems like we found three things. This would be the third. When I was driving back from that house, I've been doing a clean out out. Uh, I saw these on the side of the road, so I was like, well, I might as well pick them up. But, fun fact, I didn't uh, I didn't record the last day I was there. Um, there's still three days I have to be there because it's just, it's not, the job's not done. Um, but the last day I went, I didn't record uh, just because it was cold, it was rainy, and all I did was literally load dumpster with furniture and smash furniture. And although... It's sort of fun to smash things with a sledgehammer. I don't know if people really want to watch me smash something with a sledgehammer for 15 minutes. It's, uh, it's kind of a very repetitive process. With nothing really different in between. So, I do have to go back there, but I found those on the way back. And I figured, well, might as well put it in the van. It's a guy go to scrap here eventually. Uh, are we doing this again? I think we're doing this again. Run over something, it's probably not good. Let's see how heavy this one is. Oh, on a hilt, too. This ain't good. This probably won't work. Yeah, it might work. Let's see what the other one is. 
So it's right there. Huh. Oh, it's heavier than that one. way lower than the one that I tried picking up two weeks ago. That one from two weeks ago was so heavy. I still still think about it, but that one was a lot lighter. Looks like someone already gave up on their New Year's resolution. Looks kind of expensive. Now this thing's been banging back and forth this gate over here and it's just been driving me nuts. Schwinn DX900. Tire looks expensive to be honest. My New Year's resolution is definitely pack this van better and not get a hernia doing it. There we go. Now that thing ain't gonna roll around. This thing's been banged against this. People forget that although I do edit these videos so it's not three hours of driving around and five minutes of finding things, every time I accelerate and brake, what would be another word for brake? Well, brake. Accelerate and brake. Every time I brake and accelerate, everything in the back moves. So that water heater thing, water tank, every time I stop at a stop sign or go from a stop sign or make a turn, has banged up against this board behind me and just vibrates the seat erratically. It's not a very uh, comfortable feeling. So hopefully that will stop that because I was getting to the point where I was about to just chuck it out the window. Working with over here looks like a couple toolboxes. I don't know if the tools are in it. We will see. Empty. Empty. That was definitely not the best point of view. I'm pretty sure you guys were just looking at my feet there. Trying to get better this year of also just the video aspect. It's kind of tough with just like a chest mount on, but I've noticed with the head mount, the quality of the video would drop even more. Be very, very shaky. So chest mount will just have to do, you just have to bear with looking at my feet for a little bit. Here and there. On the right side, right next to this car, is a Christmas tree. Hey, another Christmas tree. So that would be the fifth, and that would be the sixth I've seen today. The only the uh, two that I've documented, but the sixth Christmas tree I've seen on today's adventure. There might even be another one here to the left, down this road. Yeah, it looks like there is. You know what? We'll actually go that way, right another street. I think I see a Christmas tree. Be on the right past this cardboard box, and that's what it is. So that's seven. Seven Christmas trees. Oh, we have another one down there. That's eight. Eight Christmas trees. Got what, two and a half more months? We'll see if we can uh, make it all the way till then. Me being the numb nuts that I am, I finally just. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, well, that has $130 shipping on it. Finally decided to look up that washer and dryer. I should have probably done it there rather than six hours later. 
Um, but it seems like a lot of people are around like the hundred dollar asking point with free local pickup and those have a decent amount of watchers so i'm going to say it's probably in that ball field around a hundred dollars there's a couple that say shipping but the shipping's 130 bucks so like this one 35 dollars no bids 130 dollars shipping somebody might be like oh it's only worth 35 bucks but realistically the price point of that would be like around 165 plus probably tax so although you might win it for 35 you're really paying 170 or 180 but the ones that are around 100 dollars those seem to have like 20 to 35 watchers so if it's still there when i go back i'm going to grab it okay so i made it into the last part or the last town and i'm heading off to see if those uh those toys are still there the only thing i've seen in this entire town is well more christmas trees and the great truck guy he had a trailer filled of scrap metal so he probably had me beat but um maybe those things are still there i i saw he drove down that road i just don't i didn't turn onto that road so we'll see if it's there can't tell if there's i see you the uh are they still there, man? Oh yeah, that's it, because there's an ironing board on the side. Yes, let's go. Still there. All right, so I looked up the ironing board. The ironing board, that's the thing on the right, not the thing on the left, I'll show you here. But the ironing board isn't worth much. In fact, I don't know what all those things, those look like screws or something. Oh, this thing is dirty. Oh, that'll be something that we have to save until, uh, until summer. Mouse droppings everywhere. I feel like I'm at that house again. Unless you look this up, you would not have taken this. Yeah, it's dirty. Anyway, there's an ironing board on this side. There's also an ironing board that's also over there. That has a yellow top. But that thing's only worth about like $15 to $30. And I'm not... I'm not bothering with it because it's $30 on eBay with the whole shipping thing, not $30 at a flea market. Maybe, uh, I don't think Lamerville you'd get 30, maybe Brimfield if somebody comes up and they actually collect that stuff. If not, it's, it's not selling for $30. These ski boots were out here last week. This corner piece hasn't broken. All right. Well, I got my lovely uh, my item I wanted. Um, kind of stupid of me not to just to check what the price was of that while I, you know, just passed it up in the morning. But sometimes I'm really not thinking in the morning. Uh, like I was saying, that uh, that ironing board, although it's nice, it's different, sort of speak. Maybe I could have sold it, but it's not worth a whole lot. So for any collector out there, if you don't have it, you might want it. Uh, but I just don't know if it was worth it to kind of clean it up and save it for the next three months. In fact, I think I uh, checked the other day. I think it's about 83 days. 83 days or 84 days until uh, flea market season opens up. And it kind of brings me back to last year. I had a good friend, still a good friend, Mike. Um, who bought a uh, mid-century chair off me and when I met him during winter I was like man 76 more days until flea market season opens up so we're getting close to that kind of like we're not that far away I remember that conversation kind of thing so I thought that was kind of interesting and neat uh, that we're only like 83 or 85 days away from flea market season and not necessarily like flea market season it's more like when everything else opens back up so we'll have rummage sales here in about a month a month and a half I believe 
uh, maybe two months uh, from now we'll have rummage sales and then garage sales will open back up and flea markets in different areas will open like a week or two weeks earlier than my flea market and everything just kind of gets back to the fun adventure filled weeks that we kind of have so yeah yeah Anyway, this is kind of what we grabbed. I have more wire. Uh, that house that I'm working on right now with the crew has a ton of wire. I have a bunch of stuff from the storage unit. There was actually a huge box, like the size of that blue bin, of nothing but Christmas lights. Um, it doesn't really pay a lot. In fact, I actually held on to a whole... Well, I can see these are split. So I cut them right there. Um, so this will definitely be scrap. Um, I had a huge box that I kept the entire year to kind of decorate like my living room and this year I didn't hang up one Christmas light so I'm like great I held on to that thing for the entire year and I never even used it um so yeah I'll, I'll have to put that all together for a scrap run I probably will go tomorrow morning tomorrow should be another very very action-packed day gotta head back to the house I'm gonna take this stuff out I'm gonna go to the scrap yard I might have to go back to the scrap yard um but all around, it was an awesome day today. Like I said, this thing is pretty dirty. You got mouse droppings everywhere. Um, I'll wash it once I get the hose hooked up in the spring. And uh, I don't know if I'll Facebook Marketplace it or try to put it online. I don't know what I'll do with that. But that is a pretty rare find in itself. Something that you don't really find every day. And something that I really never even thought of picking up. But it's been a fun one. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. And of course, I'll catch you guys next time for our next venture. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.